once all operations on the land halted. The CPA accused their chairperson of exploiting the land for his personal benefit without their consent. Rama City, which has a mine quarry and a resort, was handed back to its beneficiaries in 2002 following a successful land claim. Lizzie Zwani's family was among those forcefully removed from Rama City during apartheid. The quarry and resort on the land generate income. But the Communal Property Association claims the chair is pocketing the money. He is also accused of selling portions of Rama City without the CPA's consent. So the chairperson is the main sole, sole, sole owner of this land, according to him. Because he's the one who sold this land and then he's the one who who has been signing the MOU and the service level agreement without weaknesses. Other members of the CPA also accused the chair of intimidating them. I know he's looking for me and he also came to my house. He sent 15 people to come and take me to put me in the boot, which unfortunately they couldn't find me. We are the community of Ram. All those people which are driving there, they are not the people of Ram. The Land Reform and Rural Development Department says decisions of communal property associations should be majority based. There mustn't be any businesses, disposal or acquisitions of any uh, assets for that CPA that they are not aware of because as a communal property association it is the majority that should be making decisions. Rama City beneficiaries want the department to halt all operations on the land until all outstanding matters are resolved. Efforts to engage the chair were unsuccessful. Offense Estimo, SABC News, Pretoria.